testing, testing the sound. So I'm not really sure if the sound's gonna come out right. <laughs> I bring my camera because I wanted to film stuff outside of the house. I feel a little bit more awkward filming in public. So I decided to come to a cafe where not many people are so I can just stare at my camera and talk to it. But I also forgot my microphones and wind blocker. So I don't know how much wind's gonna come through. I'll work on the sound afterwards. Uh, but I want to give you a sense of how today's going. Essentially what I'm doing, I could put in other clips of uh, different things that I did today, but some stuff I didn't film. Like I didn't film at the gym. I feel like that's you know a little, a little weird. I mean, a lot of people film at the gym, but I didn't really want to pull up my camera there. Maybe one day I'll get more comfortable. So anyway, I just finished at the gym. This shirt is soaked. Uh, let's just see if you can like... I don't know if you could tell, but like actual liquids coming out of the, out of the shirt is absolutely soaked. Uh, and after the gym, I know I'm breaking out because I'm just sitting in my sweat afterwards, but I have a little bit of a routine before I get home. And I think you can continue to progress and grow as long as you have a little bit of structure. So I have some structure and it's not, it's not a lot of structure. I can fit it however I want, but it just seems to work out that way. And the reason I have some structure is because without it, I'd probably end up just being lazy all day. To give you a sense of that, all morning I pretty much played video games. I edited stuff, I did some video stuff, like worked on some new video software to test it out. But a lot of what I was doing was video game stuff essentially. <laughs> so I could have spent the entire day inside playing video games. In fact, I wanted to. Except I have a routine that I follow somewhat and so it gets me to get out of the house. And once you're out of the house, you end up doing a lot. And so I went to the gym, I had a good workout. I mean, I'm covered in sweat right now. And before I go home, I want to study Vietnamese for a little bit. Because once I get home, I might not do it. I might instantly feel like I want to play video games. And so right now, how I'm studying is just Duolingo, Vietnamese. You know, get started. This is where I'm at right now. What does that say? Hello, what's up? This is actually really formal because this is saying uh, hello, xin chào. Which you could say xin chào, but you could just say chào. And then what's up? Yeah, you know, I need to, I need to go through this. Let's see. Say now, sao doi, sao zoi. Super formal. I got that one incorrect. Yeah, before I go home, I come to a cafe or somewhere else, but I had enough caffeine today. <laughs> Two cups of coffee, pre-workout. So I'm here, I'm just gonna drink um, watermelon. Just something after the gym. I think I'll need some food, but if I can just study for at least 10 minutes, I'm good. If I could study longer, that's great too. It just depends on how much of a flow I get in. But I tell myself at least 10 minutes of studying. So now I'm going to sit here and study Vietnamese for at least 10 minutes. Now I'm going to start studying at the coffee shop. I put it on a faster speed so I don't just have to sit here and, and watch me study and I cut out some parts. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'll do. So it can be 10 minutes, sometimes you know 30 minutes, sometimes longer. But I feel like I start getting braided at 30 minutes. After about five or 10 minutes, they give you this double XP for the next 15 minutes. So it gamifies it and really makes you want to keep spending time on it. That is really helpful for me because sometimes I would just sit there for five minutes and be like, all right, I'm done. But then I get this 15 minute like bonus round and I'm just like excited to do that. And one of my goals whenever I play or like use the app is to beat other people on the leaderboard. There's, there's always a leaderboard going on with everyone that's studying in this, in this group. And then once you reach the next level, you get new people in your study group. Uh, you don't know them or anything. It just says their name or their username. But yeah, always want to beat them. I'm going to show you what that leaderboard looks like. And so Guts at the top is my name. And each one of these is a different user. To the right, you can see their points. 
And at the top, you can see my points. I'm sitting here editing this video and I just wanna say I cannot help but want to be in first place whatever I do. If I'm playing a video game, I really wanna be in first or I wanna win. And when I'm playing one of these learning language games, I wanna be first, I wanna win. Like I, I, I want to, so it helps me compete. I hear other people that are you know, top of their class often have someone else at the top of their class and they're challenging the other person, the other person challenging them, they're going neck and neck and that helps them progress. So I need that as well. If you're curious how I did on the leaderboards, here's an image of that week completed. Number one on the leaderboard <laughs> to what it's worth. I mean, it made me feel good and it keeps me active. I get to a point where I'm studying and my brain starts feeling a little dead. Like it's taking me longer to think about things that I'm like, it's like something I know, but my brain's not thinking about it. It's like, all right, it's time to stop. Like uh, when you're lifting weights and your muscle is to that point where you can't push anymore. Like if you've, you've really, really exhausted it and you're trying and you're really trying and you can't push anymore and you just go a little bit further and then when you feel exhausted, you're done. Like you really, really push yourself. And um, you know, people could do language learning for hours or whatever, but you can give yourself some breaks. Again, my technique is very small each day. The app that I'm using has a lot of gamification. So I said 10 minutes, but I don't even know. I'll, I'll look at maybe the timestamps on these videos to see how long I actually spent studying. But it says the time on each thing, so it was at least 10 minutes. It could have been around 30 minutes, um, but the 10 minutes just makes it sound easy so that I actually do it. Uh, now that I am done, I can go eat something and go home, which I am pumped about. I'm still sitting in sweat, so I'll eat something quickly and then go home. Oh yeah, and my treat. This is just watermelon juice, but I got some watermelon in here. I think that is a dollar. Should be Pai Mui Lam, so 25. So I'll go pay and get out of here. I just, I just finished editing the, oh well. I just finished editing this video, the one that you're watching, or you just, the one that you just watched, and I don't wanna make it too long, so I'm just gonna stop it here. I was thinking about doing you know, a day in the life of Michael on a Sunday, but this just ended out to be me studying Vietnamese and telling you a little bit about it, bit about it just, just my life and, and how I'm running my days a little bit. Yeah, so thanks for watching, I appreciate it. I know that a lot of my family and friends want this kind of stuff, just a more relaxed type of video rather than the the very formal cut up videos. And this is a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna probably try to create some more videos like this and I might intersperse it with those other videos that are you know, a little bit more growth oriented. Those are still fun, but they're just a lot more difficult to make. And these are easy and fun. And on that note, I'll see you later.